Hey y'all, so today I want to work out in the garden. Jerry brought home a whole bunch of plant starts from his work. Um, and so I need to get them in the ground. So I'm gonna set up Judah's little water table so he has something to do. Uh, and then I'm gonna get to work. So here's all the plant starts that we have. Lots of peppers and tomatoes. Um, that's Judah's little water table he got for his birthday. I'm actually gonna move it over here out of the sun. Yeah, we're gonna put water in it. Is that fun? Can I move it in the shade, please? I don't want you to get sunburnt, my pasty little child. All right, come here, baby. Here you go. You stand right there, and let me go turn the water on for you, okay? Go ahead, let all this hot water run out. Don't mind my disaster of a yard. Uh, Whenever Jerry and I work out here and do projects, Judah just kind of gets into everything, which is fine because it keeps him entertained. But you know, it means that my yard is almost always some kind of disaster. Okay, that's good and cool. Let me put it in your table for you. You gonna play in the water? Yeah? Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> I picked probably the worst time to come out here and do this. It is like the middle of the day, which means it's super hot out here. And it's direct sunlight. But I need to get stuff done. So, you know, gotta do what I gotta do. It's been a little minute since we've been in the garden. Uh, it's really overgrown. We actually, we needed a little bit in this area, but we ran out of string. So the rest of the garden around it is like super overgrown. When we planted, this last bed it had all of our tomatoes which are still there and then a bunch of peppers that I started from seed and they just were not growing like I fertilized them nothing was happening I actually ended up taking them all out because we added in a bunch more soil because I thought well maybe that's the problem the soil isn't deep enough because this bed was really shallow now I'm gonna replant it with a bunch of other peppers that Jerry brought home from work uh, let's see what are you yellow bell yellow bell okay so yeah I want this tray first before I can really plant anything in here I actually need to level out the soil so got my shovel let's do that real quick and then we can start putting things in the ground All right, well, let's do all of these yellow bells, I guess, right here on this side. So I don't know about you guys, but um, peppers are definitely one of my favorite things to grow. I probably am a little bit biased though, because last year when we were in the apartment, we had a lot of potted plants and our peppers were like, were like we had so many peppers that we didn't know what to do with them. Before this year, when all of our peppers were having a really hard time, I would have said that like peppers are the greatest thing. They're so easy to grow, and then now we're having some trouble. So, you know, you know how it is. You start bragging on something, you get a little proud, and God's gonna humble you. having fun? Water. Okay. Go on back to your water. I said that this is the wrong time of day to do this and I stand by that. I'm sweating and I've only put in like five plants. Yeah, you are wet. No, we got to keep your shirt on. You'll get sunburned. Nope. Keep it on. Go ahead and play with your water. Okay. Quick break is over. Uh, let's check out the rest of these plants and see what I want to put in the rest of that bit. All right, we've got hot cayenne, more hot cayenne. What are you guys? Hot cayenne, hot banana. I think you're, yeah, hot banana. A tomato of some kind. Uh, oh, we got more yellow bell, uh, green bell, 
sweet banana. Ooh, let's do those and some green bells. All right, got a good little assortment here. Oh gosh, I'm gonna need two hands. Okay, I got all the peppers in. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the water hose on, let the sprinkler run on them. Um, and then it's time to put Judah down for a nap, so I'm gonna go inside and take a break because I'm not gonna survive if I stay out here much longer. Excuse me, Cooper. Well, it is now actually early evening. Uh, I did not end up coming back out here while Judah was napping. I stayed inside. I did some other stuff. I took a very brief nap, you know, good things. But now I've just come back outside and I figured we should walk through the garden and I'm gonna show you what all we have growing right now. We recently added these two tires because we just had them and I put soil in them. I need to plant something. I uh, just haven't gotten to that yet. So let's start with this first bit. I've been pretty good about staying on top of uh, weeding, but as you can see, the, the grass is starting to get serious in here. Look at that root, oh my gosh. So in this first bed, we have oregano. Uh, those are pole beans that are starting to grow. And then this is all okra. And then we've got some blank space. <laughs> and the volunteer pumpkin, which finally there is a pumpkin that's actually ready to be picked. Oh, Jerry's home. This is that volunteer that we weren't sure if it was a squash or what, uh, but yeah, that pumpkin is ready. Directly behind the pumpkins, we have zucchini madness going on. From what I know, uh, growing zucchini is like this for everyone because you go from like having just a couple small plants and then suddenly they're really big plants and then you have a couple like flowers and then you have massive zucchini. So there is a really big zucchini. Oh, there it is. Let me see if I can show you how big it actually is. That's my hand in comparison. I'm actually keeping it so that I can save the seeds out of it so I have to let it mature before I can pick it and take the seeds. That way I won't have to buy zucchini seeds like, you know, maybe ever again. I have trimmed back this foliage several times uh, and I just can't keep up with it. But there is a basil under here and two different kinds of cucumber that are just starting to hit this trellis. So that was bed number one. Bed number two also has an empty tire that I haven't planted anything in yet. So on this corner, we also have a basil. This space I have tried like four times to put um, brown cherries in there and they're just not taking off for me. Then we've got our pole beans. The herb row right here is really starting to take off. So this is rosemary, uh, that is oregano, and then we have holy basil right there. The next part we've got some desi squash. And then on this other side, we've got lots of jalapenos. And they're getting really close to pick, being able to pick. Um, I actually picked like six or seven of them the other day. But these, I figured they need a little bit more time. So we have desi squash, peppers, zinnias, more cucumbers. And actually we have our first blossoms, which is super exciting because I love cucumbers. Uh, that one isn't quite as developed, but they're, they're getting there. The little tendrils have grabbed on. They're, they're trying, they're climbing. My bush beans here are not looking great. Uh, I've gotten two harvests off of them and they're just kind of getting decimated by something. <laughs> and I don't know anything about gardening hardly at all. So I think it is some kind of bug. I haven't seen anything specific other than like some stink bugs, but I don't know if they eat plants. Like I, I don't know. Um, so I'm considering putting some BT on there. I've been watching lots of Roots and Refuge to maybe have some of her knowledge rub off on me, but so far, not yet. <laughs> so this bush bean looks pretty good, and then it gradually looks worse and worse, and then there's like the bare stems down there. The last little thing in this bed is yet another basil. I've had people ask like how am I planning on using up all of that basil because hopefully they'll get really big. I really like pesto. It's also good for just feeding to livestock because they like it. Um, nothing will go to waste. At the very, very least it will turn into compost, but I don't even see that happening. The last bed that we have anything in is bed number three and it's got our tomatoes and the peppers that I planted with you guys earlier today. I may get some flack for this, but I don't like tomatoes, at least not 
the ones that I've ever had. Um, we grew some last year. We grew some cherry tomatoes, and I really liked them. They were a lot sweeter. Um, they were pretty good. They weren't. They still weren't like, oh, I'm just gonna go outside and pop a couple in my mouth. Like, I, mm -mm. but I like tomato products. So like, spaghetti sauce and chili and uh, salsa. You know, all of the tomato things, just not tomatoes. So that's why we're even growing tomatoes. When I planted all of my tomatoes in here, I had them nice and labeled and stuff, and I knew what was what. But then my dog got in here and messed it all up. So I don't know, I mean, I know now what some of them are, but like this area is anybody's guess. So this first big tomato plant, that one is a sucker that I uh, propagated. This first one, oh, it's got some yucky stuff on there. Gross. Uh, this is, I think, a Dr. Witchy's yellow. There's several of these little itty bitty tomatoes on here. Uh, and then this next one, I'm pretty sure is a Paul Robeson. And there's lots of tomatoes on here. They're all just very small. And then this next one is a Cherokee purple. This one we bought as a start. The rest of these I started here on my own. But that one's getting to be a good size. This one that is all bit up and looks terrible um, is a yellow pear, another yellow pear, and then a red cherry tomato that we bought as a start. So we still have this third bed, now it's getting grass growing in it, but uh, we have the third bed that we can fill up and I would like to do that soon. It just hasn't been the top of our priorities. Been thinking about it a lot and there's a chance my plans are gonna change pretty significantly. For the garden. So while I really, really love the way that the raised bed garden looks, it is a little too expensive for filling up our entire yard with these raised beds because for us to reach any kind of substantial goal with growing our own vegetables, we need a lot more space. The plan was to have this, but times like four or five and just fill in this whole yard and even come more forward if we needed to. With as much as it costs, even though we found a great place for soil, we do a lot of our own compost and use manure from the animals, uh, building the boxes is still pretty expensive. Instead, we could do either root stout, no-till, whatever kind of gardening and use up a lot more space and not take as much money to get to that point. Our goal for this year was to reach 100% of our own meat. Uh, we didn't want to have to be buying meat from anywhere um, other than maybe like another local farm because we can't raise beef here. The next big goal is getting the garden to where we're eating maybe 75% of all of our vegetables are coming from the garden and we're definitely not there. We've had a couple of meals that have been completely from the farm, but um, we have a lot of work to do before we get there with the garden. So while that is next year's goal, it's just good to be future minded. Does that make sense? Well, I'm starting to lose my light and I need to get inside and make dinner because I haven't done that yet. <laughs> this is what we did today, worked in the garden. I. I'm gonna sleep really well because I got so overheated. <laughs> it wasn't even that much work. I think I was out here for like 30 minutes and thought I was gonna die. If you enjoyed hanging out in our little corner of YouTube today, please consider liking, sharing, or commenting down below. This just tells the YouTube algorithm that you enjoyed this video and that it should show it to other people. And it's a really non-committal way of supporting us. Uh, but if you feel like committing to us, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell. And that just means you're gonna get a little pop-up every time we put out a new video. If you'd like to get to know us on a little bit more personal of a level, a great way to do that is to check us out on Instagram. I post there on a daily basis. Uh, if not an actual post, then I'm updating our stories pretty regularly. It's a great place to see things as they're happening instead of on YouTube where there's generally a little bit of a delay. So thank you guys for coming along and working in the garden with me and then walking through it. Uh, until we meet again, bye y'all.